In this video, I'm going to solve an example with um, resistors and capacitors in a circuit. The question he's asking about, find the energy stored in, in the each capacitor. There are two capacitors here. All we need to do is find the energy stored in each capacitor. We know that energy stored in a capacitor usually indicate with E or U equal to half CV square Joule. Okay, Joule is the unit. So we know the C value, all we need to know is V value, how much is the voltage across this. So we'll find that. So it's a DC circuit here. How do I know? The source is a DC. So basically it's a DC circuit. In DC, once capacitors are fully charged, so once transient state is passed and uh, when they are in steady state. So the transient state is only few milliseconds. Okay, and steady st state is a very long time. So in steady state, capacitor acts like an open circuit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open those two capacitors, disconnect them. So assuming those are fully charged, I mean, by the time um, they're going to be fully charged, the time taken to charge those capacitors is only a few milliseconds. Remember that time frame. Now, open those two. And all I need to do is find the voltage across the uh, across the capacitor there. Now here, if you look at here in this circuit, here current is going to start flowing here. There won't be any current passing through this because it is open circuit in that uh, um, in that loop. So current is going to start going in this direction and come back to the negative. So all I need to do is find that current that current I equal to V over R total. So V, I have 60 volt and R total equal to 10 plus 10 plus 10, 60 divided by 30, that is three ampere, sorry, two ampere. So 60 divided by 10 plus 10 plus 10, 60 divided by 30, that is two amperes. So two ampere current is passing through this circuit, okay? So what will be the voltage drop here? Here it will be two times 10, that is 20 volt. Can I say in parallel voltage is same? So this capacitor C1 is parallel with this. So voltage drop across C1 is same as 20 volt. So the energy stored in the first capacitor is half C1 V1 square, half 10 micro times um, 20 square. So 20 square which is um, 400 400 divided by 2 which is 200 200 times 10 2000 micro I can write this as 2 milli joule that is in capacitor 1 when it comes to the capacitor 2 you need to find the voltage drop across capacitor 2 so here I just redraw the circuit again so we we understand that the current passing through this is zero ampere because it's open circuit. So the voltage here between these two open terminals is same as the voltage between this and this. Okay. So the voltage here must be here. I I already have 60 volt right there, and there is a 20 volt drop there. So 60 minus 20 will give me 40 volt. That's one way to look into it. Another way is I can, I know two ampere current is passing through it. So there is a 20 volt drop because two times 10, 20 volt drop, another 20 volt drop here. Okay, so the total voltage drop is 40 volt. So V2 equal to 40 volt. So once we know V2, V2 value, half C2, V2 square. Okay, that 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 is going to be around eight milli job. Okay, um, I'm going to solve another example in this video. Here is the next example. In this example, he's asking about find the energy stored in each capacitor. Okay, so we know that um, capacitor is going to act like a open circuit in DC. How do I know it is DC? Similar here, this is a DC source, 2 ampere. Uh, what is the difference between DC and AC? So in this example, we're finding um, energy stored in each capacitor. So how do we know this is a DC circuit? Because if it is AC, usually you will see a sinusoidal waveform inside. And 
probably even if it is a current source like two at an angle of some phasor angle with AC, with AC current or two at an angle of zero. So if you see something like this, this is AC. We haven't talked about AC circuits yet. We will down the line. So don't worry. Uh, don't worry at this point about the AC AC circuit. So step one um, in steady state. I mean, by the time the capacitors are going to be fully charged. How long does it take to charge the capacitor? Just a few milliseconds. Okay. So this is what the circuit is going to be look like. Once we disconnect the capacitors. So it's going to be um, something like this. Okay. Now two ampere current is passed supplied by the source. There is 15 ohm, 15 ohm, 50 ohm and 10 ohm. Now we'll see, since it's a current source, uh, it's easy for us to find the parameters, what we, what we are looking for. So here he's asking for the energy, energy stored in this capacitor is half. Let me label this as C1, C2, half, C1, V1 square. All I need voltage across this. Let me label that as V1. Now here, there won't be any current passing through this 15 ohm because it's open circuit. So all the two ampere is going to pass through this 15 ohm. Okay, the two ampere is going to pass through it. Two ampere is going to come there. And here, this is open circuit, so there won't be any current passing through it. All the two ampere is going to pass through it. So label this as a V2 voltage drop across 50 ohm. 50 ohm resistor. Now, um, now I'm going to find V1. V1 is nothing but the voltage drop across the capacitor. Can I say that is the same voltage across this 15 ohm resistor because both of them are in parallel and this 15 ohm, we, we can ignore that because there won't be any current passing through it. So I can clearly see V1 is simply 15 times 2 resistor times current, which will give me 30 volt. So the energy stored in the first capacitor, U equal to half C1 V1 square, half 10 micro times 30 square. That value is 4.5 milli joules. Okay, 900 divided by 2, which is 450. 450 times 10, 4,500 micro. I can write that as 4.5 millijoule. That is U1. Now, when it comes to the U2, the current is 2 ampere is going to go through this. So there won't be any current passing through the 10 ohm. Um, so can I say the voltage V2 is voltage across capacity is same as the voltage across 50 ohm. So I can say V2 equal to 50 times 2, which is 100 volt. Now energy stored in the capacitor to U2 equal to half C2 times V2 square half. What is C2? C2 is um, 20 micro times 100 square. That will give me that value is 0.1 joule. Okay, so that is the energy stored in each capacitor. Okay, I'll stop this video here. In the next video, I'll start talking about the inductor. Thank you.